Hi there, welcome back to the Lazy Question Show, where I pick one of your questions and answer you in an AutoCAD video. As always, if you want to send your question, you can write it in any of our video comments. So now let's get into today's Lazy Question. This question was sent by uh, Marco. Can you please help me? I'm having issue with hatching in AutoCAD. The program just freezes when I try to hatch. I even tried the purge command. So Marco sent me his file. Let's open that up. And he has a beautiful drawing here. So what do you think guys about this drawing? Looks nice, but <laughs> the issue was hatching. So Marco didn't specify exactly what area he was hatching. But I'm gonna guess he's building facade, something around here, because of course, if you just hatch a regular um, box or rectangle, that won't give you problems. So I'm gonna hatch that, something like a solid hatch, and let's click on it. And as you can see, it's taking a lot of time, and also it's giving me an error. So yeah, that's what the problem is. Let's try some solutions, and let's go jump to the size of the drawing. So in order to reduce the size, let's try to perch. So, and we will have the perch dialog box. So over here, make sure all items um, are checked. And I'm gonna say perch all check items like so. And then I'm finally gonna hit close. So let's go back to Marco's drawing uh, folder uh, or file, which is here. And nothing really happened. Why? Because we still need to do an extra step, which is save the file to see the changes. So I'm gonna use the control S on my keyboard to kind of save my drawing. And let's go back and open or check the file. And we can see immediately that the size of the file decreased to about 8,000, which is almost half. So perch command is working, but let's try to hatch again. So I'm going to use a hatch command, hatch this area. And again, it's taking a little bit of time. So I see that Marco was telling us the truth. He tried the perch command still didn't work and most of the time what happened when you are unable to hatch is that the lines or objects are on different planes so i'm talking about the z value so in order to correct this and make sure that all of our lines and geometry are on one plane we can uh, use the flatten command this is a very handy command to again make sure that all of my objects are flat in one uh, plane so let's try that out for Marco and I'm gonna select all of these and press enter so over here remove hidden lines I will say no I don't want to mess up with the drawing so I'm gonna say no all right so it looks like AutoCAD did its thing and let's try to hatch it again so what I'm gonna do to hatch it now is use the zoom command really quick to zoom into that specific area that I want to hatch which is here and I just hatch and let's see if we can somehow get it to work now so it's doing its thing again hey here we go it did the trick using the flatting command kind of helped to maybe change all of the geometry to one plane so here we go guys what do you think about how we were able to solve Marco's problem of the hatch 